before I post this video about this vacuum pump, I want you to know that nobody has ever sponsored any of my videos. If there's something wrong with a product, I give you my honest opinion. And that sometimes the lack of sponsorship is my choice. I've had some companies reach out to me and they basically want to give me something that I've already got and no payment. So no, I'm not going to do that. And other companies I have reached out to to see if they'd like to sponsor a video and no response. So I'm going to give you an honest opinion of that. I've actually been looking at it for months now and I bought the earlier models like a couple years ago I bought one of those and honestly it was I took it back because it couldn't pull down into a deep vacuum even with a micron gauge and it closed off all by itself but this one is different this is a really nice vacuum pump I'll tell you that before we start the video so stay tuned I just picked this up. I've been reading about it and watching videos, reading reviews. One thing I don't think people realize is how lightweight and small this is. This box and this picture make it look like it's really bulky. But it's not. That's 15 inches long and it's about 8 inches wide and it's really lightweight. I had a, I had been using this JB right here and this is a higher CFM and it's lighter than my JB was. That JB was about 13 years old and I was starting to have little troubles with it. But this is, it's only been running for a short while. Down to 500 microns. I'm gonna let that run and we're gonna see how, how low I can get it with this, this setup right here. I'll tell you that most everything on this is straightforward. You can drain your oil out right here and then close it off and add more oil without ever shutting it off. And it's not obvious, but there's a ballast switch right here. And if you don't know it's there or if you don't read the manual, you might miss it, but it's right there. And there are some LED codes that show up in this sight glass over here one will tell you the ballast is open another might tell you the ballast is closed but being able to see your oil like that and change it on the fly is really nice I hope it performs as well as some of the reviews have said it would. alright I, I took care of some paperwork it took me about 10-15 minutes and you see I'm already down to 245 microns. That tank initially had pressure on it. I mean, just a little bit. So it was not completely dry. This thing's doing fabulous. 200 microns in less than... This hasn't even had time to cycle off. I'm go gonna go ahead and valve this off. I will point out that there's no way, like on the JB, you can just valve off the, the port that it pulls a vacuum from. There's no way to do that. And this vacuum pump cannot hold a vacuum. That's the only 
you know negative I see about that there's no way to valve this off so if you pull a vacuum with one hose you need to do it with um, a core remover so that you can valve this off Well, I tell you what, I'm just going to leave this like this, and now I'm going to test the tightness of my manifold and hoses because I had a problem with them the other day. To open that ballast. Turn it on, and you'll see there's a LED flashing. That means your ballast is open. I'll let that pull down for just a second. I'll tell you what, hold on. I'm actually going to zero out my gauges first. Alright, so they're both reading zero. Yeah, the other day I am um, I was completely unable to pull a real deep vacuum. already pulling down pretty quick and I've got all of these open including this I just have these valved off in all honesty that should be pulling down a little bit quicker We'll see if it pulls down. Now the other setup I have with just one hose, we could put this in line with it, but this ball joint is something that I am not sure is gonna hold a deep vacuum. That's part of my questioning of whether or not all of this is tight. All right, it's been like five minutes on this. I did expect this to pull down faster, but we are pulling with my hoses open. That's not very bad. In just a second, we're gonna valve this off right here and see if we have a lot of decay. It has now been, it's now been about 10 minutes. I'm going to valve this off and watch to see if I have a lot of decay. You know, that's a lot for if y'all hear that. That's air getting into this vacuum pump. Like I said, it does not hold a vacuum. These did pull down below 200, but as you see, I am for just my hoses, I did valve this one off for just my hoses and my manifold. That right there is a lot.
yeah that's a lot um, and these no these hoses are fairly new i am open to both of these ball valves i'm gonna try something else real quick i'm gonna put micron gauge on here and we're just gonna pull through this vacuum hose that right there that's a lot of decay in a short period of time just for a manifold and hoses that pulled down almost immediately this is valved off actually the hose is valved off and it looks like my decay has stopped so you know this hose may may be problematic you know what i'm fixing to try that again i'm gonna do that decay test again but i'm fixing to valve it off right here but i was going to show you i'm gonna leave this on here so you can see that this does not hold a vacuum. And you'll see right here I've got 56 microns. About 200 here. Like I said, these hoses are fairly new. Alright, we're back to 200 microns, so I'm going to valve off. These are still open now, which means these hoses are still open. I still have a lot of decay. Alright, so I'm going to close those off. Open this back up. Oh my. Look how quick that went down. I think I got problems with my hoses. Yeah, that went down pretty quick. I'm going to leave everything valved off. I'm fixing to valve this off and make sure my manifold doesn't have a leak. I'm going to let that get below 100 and then we'll try that. watch out for just a second after about four or five minutes with everything valved off I still have steady rising pressure it's not a lot but there are o-rings in here that can be replaced but this little experiment here is kind of convincing me to use a single hose for vacuum and a micron gauge instead of pulling the vacuum through my manifold like this but this right here 37 microns this vacuum pump is really nice and like I said, it is much smaller than what it appears. See, that's my hand on it. That's a... It's small and lightweight. I like it. It's, 
This is probably the best vacuum pump I've bought in a really long time. Uh, it may be the best one ever. But anyway, there's a lot I covered in this video, including probably why you shouldn't pull through your manifold and old hoses. And the last thing I'm going to do is turn this off, and I'm going to show you. The vacuum pump. The vacuum pump does not hold a vacuum, so you got to have some way to valve it off to do like a decay test. So before I end this video, I wanted to just go over the things that maybe aren't the best about this vacuum pump. And I'll try to show you. As I previously mentioned, there's no way to valve these off. This cord is terribly short. That will not reach any of the power outlets near condensers. The um, place where you pour in your vacuum pump oil, if you can see, I'm not sure you can see this, but there's no O-ring. It does fit kind of snug, but I don't see any O-ring. I would worry if it's in the rain that you might get some moisture in there. But something I did not mention that is like a bonus is this right here is your exhaust and that's three quarter pipe thread. If you're afraid rain could get in there, you could just put you a threaded elbow on it. And if you work, and if you're working inside like on I'll give you an example. I worked on a water source unit in a bar one time and I had to pull a vacuum in the bar with the fumes going out into the bar where there were customers. That little feature allows you to hook up a water hose and just pump it out through a window or a door. And that's pretty nice. I know some people work in high rises where they have water source heat pumps and stuff like that. That's just a really nice Thing about this vacuum pump and some of the things like not being able to valve this off um, that's overcomable by using a shredder core removal tool I do think this is one of the best vacuum pumps that I've ever bought in fact I sold my JB 10 CFM vacuum pump that I had bought for commercial work this one can hold its own against that one. In fact, I think it's better. I hate to say that about JB pumps because I've used them for years, but this one is really good. It pulls down quick and it's, it's a double purpose vacuum pump. You can use it for commercial and residential. Um, it's just a really good buy for me. And I hope you learned through the video like I did, that maybe pulling a vacuum through your gauges and hoses might not be the best idea. I think I learned that today. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.